That's this hair standing out the whole time. As isn't it. Three things before I start. Number one, correction on the first vlog. It is not in intentional parents as they're called intended parents don't know why must be nerves but let's just call them ips from that one number two a massive thank you to everybody i can't stop getting emotional about this mm. i never thought that i would get so much response out of it and i uh, truly from the bottom of my heart thank you so much from anybody that's um, left a comment uh, on my video or shared it on Facebook. Thank you so much. It really it warms my heart. Thank you so much Number three, I don't know how I'm gonna top number one I thought why not add a little bit of footage of when I was in Cornwall last week uh, I was there for a wedding of a good friend of mine and I took a couple of days around it as well to uh, Have a little bit of a holiday. I'm gonna add that in now uh mind you there's quite some squealing when it comes to the dolphins so prepare yourself just turn down the volume a little bit and then you'll be fine <laughs> This is exciting. I am going to be driving for the first time in about four years. What if I can't do it anymore? Let's just try something. Handbrake. Welcome, lovely the seawall. Really keep your eyes peeled. Keep looking in the water. There's lots of baby fish. My dear Esther. Thank you. There you go, my dear. What we've been seeing recently are these lovely little common dolphins on your top left. The common dolphin. They're very euphoric, very playful. Look at that! Look at that one! Oh yeah! Woohoo! Oh little baby! My update it's been extremely busy and everything has been going really fast and it's all been very very exciting um, so in my first video I ended with the fact that I was going to have a lining scan in Cornwall actually so I had the lining scan in Cornwall that Friday let me just explain first when it comes to IVF you have two options you have a natural cycle uh, that is non-medicated and then you have a medicated cycle the reason why they would want to do a medicated cycle which is that you are um, 
medicated <laughs> they can actually time exactly when you get your period and such so there's a lot more certainty on when what is going to happen so i really wanted to do a natural cycle because in general my cycles were absolutely fine spot on as always when it comes to your body whenever you want something to happen really bad it does not happen i was very late when it came to my period i was very late when it came to uh, ovulation so it took a little bit more organization that's nature and that's what I signed up for we're talking about cycles you're talking in days so day number one is when you start your period and then all the way up to day usually mine was be about 28 or 29 it's the end of your cycle and then it starts over again so on day nine was the first lining scan I had a lining of six millimeter it was really exciting because i i had one done when the doctor when i saw the doctor for the first time so i kind of knew what was going to happen but i was really excited to see again if i could actually see something on the screen besides gray matter which was not the case i couldn't see anything i find it extremely interesting to see so there was six millimeters that day uh, i had contact with my nurse in in London in the clinic and she said that's actually really good she said I want you to go and get a scan, scan done again on Monday I scheduled a scan in, again in the morning and I saw the same lady again in the Turo hospital she said it was about uh, 10 and a half centimeters which is really good so I was really happy about that I was very proud of my uterus that Monday was day 12 and that was supposed to be the day I was going to be ovulating and I did not. You need to know exactly when you've ovulated because then you can calculate on when the embryo transfer is going to be. If the embryo is, for instance, three days old, then you will transfer it three days after ovulation. So if you have a three day old embryo, uh, it's three days after ovulation. And if you have a four day, five day, you know, those amount of days. So Mark and Ben have got four embryos frozen. They're five day old embryos and they're called blastocysts. We were looking to transfer on the fifth day after my ovulation. I find it very weird to talk about my ovulation with the people on the interweb. Um, so this was the Thursday. I still had not ovulated. I then started to get very frustrated with my body. I had a chat with the nurse again in London and she said this was by Friday then because this was the day after. Uh, we called every day. I let her know every day that nothing was happening. I'm going to be in the clinic uh, on the emergency line on Saturday and Sunday. So if you ovulate just let me know and then we'll be able to get a scan done on Monday. But I honestly think it will be too late by then. It was the weekend or it was nothing this month and then it would be next month again. On the Friday evening I got I was still very frustrated. I got even more frustrated and I wasn't very happy with the fact that my body wasn't doing what it was supposed to. I had a little bit of a moment. I have to just let it go. Please relax. It's fine. So that helps relaxing. Saturday morning I woke up and I had a very big smiley face on my ovulation test. It was such a good moment. Saturday was bright. Bright and brighten for me is the best day of the year. Didn't have to do the scan on the Monday anymore. We scheduled the transfer on the Thursday. So I'll just keep it up to the transfer now. So in my next vlog, I will go into transfer, transfer day. I will update you. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, or any mistakes that I've made this time, please let me know. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Uh, give the video a, one of those ones. And um, I will see you soon. Bye.